So yesterday news broke out, which to me was pretty interesting, to say at least, with the Cincinnati Bengals able to restructure Joe Mixon's contract for this year and next year. This is more so on the part for Joe Mixon because I just not did not see him taking a pay cut. Of course, during the offseason, there was reports that they were going to try and go up to Mixon and ask if he can restructure. If not, obviously, they would have to let him go. And I did think that was going to be the approach. In my other videos for some other running backs, especially I think in one of my videos when I talk about the free agency market, I kept alluding to the fact that there's a good chance Joe Mixon might be on free agency this this off or this season because of the money, uh, especially the money he's making and the, and the way the running back market is going. I don't think any of these guys really wanted to get pay cut. And I, that's how I viewed it for Joe Mixon. He was set to make a round for his cap hit was over $12 million. I think his base salary was around like nine, But they were able to restructure the deal. So we kind of go down here. So NFL Insider, a rap report is reporting that Mixon will take a $4.39 million pay cut this year and a $4.67 million pay cut next year. His base salary for 2023 would now be at $5.51 million and will have the opportunity to earn an extra $2 million in incentives. I, even though he he has taken the pay cut, I still question his future with the Bengals after this season. Uh, it, it gives you some hope that he restructured for next year as well, for 2024. But with the money that is going to be thrown out this offseason, if not this offseason, definitely next offseason, it's worrisome. Uh, the obvious one, no doubt, is being Joe Burrow, which we are still waiting to see what his contract is going to be looking, if he's going to reset the market and be the highest paid quarterback in history. Of course, that being right now Lamar Jackson. You also have to worry about with Jamar Chase, his top wide receiver, alongside with his second receiver in T. Higgins, which his name is also thrown out there for possible trade scenarios because of the, the money problems. So if T. Higgins is, is on like the trade list, not anymore, I don't think, but definitely there was you know, before the draft that was thrown around, around there. So if he was on the if, he, if there was a rumor he was on that list, Joe Mixon definitely with the with the expendable position he plays, no doubt Mixon would have been on that list as well. And also another thing too, to add on top of it, not just the look at the money wise, is the off the field problems. Uh, Mixon has definitely had a couple off the field issues that has kind of raised some eyebrows and may have shifted his future into not being the team anymore. I'm surprised they still held on to him because of the two instances off you know, off the field um, not taking place during the offseason. I think one was during the season, and then, of course, you had one in the offseason. I made a video a while ago about one of them. I think that was the one with the uh, the kids that were in front of his house that I think one of them got shot in the leg. That also kind of raised a question as well. Definitely, I thought after these instances that this is no doubt going to be a, a, another case of teams done. They want to move off of them. And also on top of adding, going back to the money issue with running backs, not paying them. And also once again, worry about Burrow and the rest of the team. It looked like it was a guarantee, a slam dunk that Joe, or Joe Mixon was not going to be on the team. But for their sake, looking at the roster, it is a great move because Mixon definitely is a top 10 caliber running back. Of course, I did make a video, my last video, showing the list voted by executives, players, staff, and all that. And Joe Mixon was not on the top 10 list. He did have a down season last year, but I still think he has top 10 cap capability. If you look at their Super Bowl run, that whole year, he was, he made the Pro Bowl, obviously, in that year. He's a top 10 uh, running back caliber player. That's what he is, and I do expect him to bounce back this season. And for you to be able to keep this guy basically a fringe top 10 running back, even better, for $5 million, <clears throat> it definitely it is amazing to keep this team together, at least for one more season with Burrow, Higgins, and Chase. One more thing I will throw out there that I wasn't surprised was Chase Brown. They drafted Chase Brown out of Illinois, and I thought, once again, adding everything right on top of that, they would, get, they would go for the cheaper option that many people were high on for Chase Brown. And give them the opportunity, but thankfully, in, in Joe Mixon's case and for the team case, that they were able to hold on, you know, stay with the team for one more season. Like I said, I, even though he did take a pay cut for 2024 year, I still question his future with that because eventually you're going to have to make roster cuts somewhere. And I would expect after this season, Joe Mixon will be in a free agency market along with a 
much more, I, and my, if I had to guess, a rich running back free agency class with big names. Derek Kenner would definitely be one of them. I would say keep your eye on Alvin Kamara because they have tried to move him around. Not saying he will get cut. He might, you know, obviously they'll be trying to trade him. But there's going to be plenty of names, I think, in 2024 in free agency running backs that you'll see on there. And Joe Mixon, don't, don't be shocked if he is one of them. But to keep it in perspective for 2023, I think it's a great move. Uh, definitely they have the capability of going to the Super Bowl, as they showed in 2021. Just fell short in that. And then last year, just basically one bad uh, penalty at the end, really. That's what would seal the deal. If it wasn't for that, there was a good chance that they could have beaten the Chiefs and gone to back-to-back -back Super Bowls. So this team no doubt has the capability of claiming their first ever Super Bowl win with Joe Burrow, Chase, Higgins, and a pretty uh, solid defense that definitely steps up in the playoffs. So a huge piece like that, I expect T. Higgins, or Joe Mixon to step up. He only had a little over 800 uh, rushing yards that, uh, last year. I do expect him to break 1,000 yards this season, but we'll see how he does this year for the 2023 season. Like Once again, he did take a pay cut to his base salary over $5 million. With that being said, let me know down below if it was a good move or not. If you think he will have a bounce back season, let me know your thoughts down below. With that being said, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.